All right, guys, these two warriors are back for another 15 minutes of the bib stick. This is Amari's transformation with the bib lifestyle and bib stick. So, Amari, this is day number three. How you feeling? Is that body a little sore, a little tight? A little, a little stiff, but yeah, I'm ready to go. A little stiff? Excellent. Yeah. We're gonna do three more exercises today that you're gonna follow through for the next three days. Okay. Just a minute and a half of each one. This first one, I just want you to take the bib stick. We're gonna put it on our shoulders, as you know before. Stretch out those fingers, all right? Now we're gonna take the legs, we're gonna open up the legs a little bit, as you see right here. And we're just gonna bend over and let that stick roll down our neck in a little bit of a massage, and then come back up slowly, and then arch our body backwards as far as we could take it. Nice and slow, controlled movements. As that stick comes down the neck, roll it down the back of the neck, and come on back up and bend that spine and open that chest cavity up, okay? All so right. you do you feel that? Oh yeah. Now you just keep doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and get this timer started. We'll take off a few seconds there since Amari's already been going. And it's that easy, guys. We're opening up the chest cavity. We're opening up the shoulders, the arms, the rib cage. He's stretching out his lower back each and every time he goes down right here. He's stretching out the hamstrings, the glutes, the quads, the calves. Try to keep your legs nice and straight. Don't bend them. And we can exhale on the way down. Push down so that we get the full length all the way down. Then take a big inhale on the way up. And then exhale on that back and just open that body up. And this is just a normal routine. If you don't have a bib stick, you can just stand there with your body, put your arms out to the side, like so, and come up and flip the hands up and open up that chest. And then come back down again. And when that, with this bib stick on the shoulders, that allows him, if you could see the back of his head, that allows him to just pull that spine just a little bit more. All right, that time is up. Amari, how did that feel for you? Felt good, actually. That felt good, <laughs> yeah. right? Now this next one, we're gonna take the bib stick, all right? And we're gonna have our feet about shoulder width apart. So let's come in a little bit closer. This one, we can keep uh, a little bit of bend in the knee. And I'm just gonna show you guys at home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the arms like this and we're gonna stretch out. Let me show Amari actually, cause he's gotta learn this. So we're gonna stretch it out. We're trying to get all this stretch in here. And as this is coming back, we're trying to use gravity. We're pulling with this and pushing with this, but it's a nice fluid movement. Keeping the face and the torso forward, we're just, You're trying to almost, yeah, bring it, bring it parallel. Bring the stick. Let's, let's look forward at the camera, straighten out our body. So we're gonna uh, bring it in here, stretch that out, and then bring it over here and stretch that out. We're trying to make sure we get the stick straight over here and get it over here. Keep a nice grip on that stick, all right? So just go ahead and do that. Stretch it. Stretch it, just like that. So we're gonna go another minute and a half. We're gonna get that started. And eventually as he progresses, he's gonna get faster and he's gonna get more flexible. I want you to just work at your speed, but I'm gonna show you my speed compared to his. And we're trying to keep all this torso right here nice and straight for you guys. And this is working under the arms, the shoulders, the forearms, the obliques, the lower abs. It's working so many different muscles. And it's all about repetition. 
breathe it out. Keep a nice grip on that stick. We don't wanna let the stick go because as it goes out and we have that grip, what it's doing is, can you feel it pulling your shoulder oh, more? Yeah. And this is loosening up all this tough knotted muscle that people never, if you don't get massages or you don't roll it out. Just a few more seconds. All right, so now we're gonna move on to this next exercise. So this next one is gonna be a little bit more difficult. We're gonna take the stick behind our back and we're gonna get our hands underneath it like this. All right, and pull our, trying to, try to get it in the pit of your elbows. All right, and our feet are gonna be forward. A little bit of bend in the knee. And we're just gonna twist. Now I know it's a little bit tighter and you can't twist that far. And exhale. Try to just twist at the upper torso and not the lower half of the legs. But of course, it's all new for you, so you're gonna have to get there. I guess the, the lower legs do start to twist with it. Let me get the stick up a little higher here. Get it into the grooves here. So what, what it does is it locks in our muscles a little bit more, it locks in the tendons and the ligaments and the muscles when we're doing this. So it's pulling the tissue harder. It's, it's giving a tighter pull. I don't know if you can feel that in your I back. Can definitely feel it. In your lower back. <sighs> yeah, you and definitely feel it. We're trying to get the stick to come in front of us. I'm just gonna show you guys up there. We're trying to get that stick. <sighs> Oh, like a 90 degree. Exactly. We're trying to get it parallel to where it goes from, from back here to up here, from back here to up there. But we want to try to keep all this stable so we're only twisting from up here up. Sorry. I can't go that far yet then. Yes, you can't go that far. Just focus on, on, on um, getting what you can do right now. So we've already been going for a few seconds there. Let's get this timer going. It's hard to keep the legs from moving. It is, it is. It's gonna take you some time adapting, getting the body a little bit looser, a little bit more limber. But again, when this transformation, when you guys see the transformation at the end of these eight weeks, you're gonna be a true believer. We've had it with our other contestants, but nobody's been as dedicated as Amari's gonna be for us so I can show you guys what the bib lifestyle and the bib stick can do for you. I see that you're letting that, tighten up that right hand a little bit. I see you're letting that wrist go because you're thinking about that thing on your wrist, but I know you're strong. Just a couple more seconds. And there's so many different exercises that we can do with this bib stick. And it's, it works so good because as I said, it keeps the body aligned. Are you feeling how that does that? Oh yeah. And this is all about repetition. We're heating those muscles up around the waistline. That's it. Let's go back to the first exercise. Put the stick up on the shoulders. Take the legs out a little bit farther. And let's go ahead. And we're doing the bend over. All the way down, roll that stick on the shoulders a little bit, up the neck, and then take it back and bend backwards as far as you can. Open up that chest cavity. Keep the legs nice and straight. Roll that stick, let it roll down the back of the neck and breathe it out, exhale. Big inhale to an exhale on the way down so we can go down farther. And this is just helping to loosen up all the tissue on his body. All the muscles in the lower back, as I said, the hamstrings, the back of the legs, the quads in the front. It's getting your calves as he goes back like that. It's stretching all the way down to his toes. We're just elongating the body. 
It's the objective is we want to keep it nice, loose, and limber. We've got just a few more seconds. All right, let's get that next one started, Amari. Uh, remind me what it was again. That was the one with a little bit of bend in the knee, and we're stretching that arm right, out. Right, right. Getting that, keeping everything nice and straight, the body. We're just trying to bring it, I'm gonna step in front of you like this. We're just trying to bring it right like this, up under the arm. Bring your stick under the arm like this. Yes, and then we, we're more focusing on the arm that stretches out, getting the stretch there. It's kind of like a karate, like a defense, self-defense in some karate, old ancient Chinese <laughs> stick fighting, you know? And bringing the stick under the arm. You, are you feeling it in your obliques? Can oh, yeah. you feel it under here? Absolutely. You can feel it in the top of your shoulders, in your traps, in your triceps. And you keep that hand. So when that hand comes around, hold that so that it pulls. You want the gravity to take its force. So as the stick comes up, it's taking this arm and it's pulling, extending all these ligaments, tendons, and muscle tissue. Everything that's wrapped around those bones. You know, if you do things at home, if you sit on the computer all day, if you're on the telephone, these exercises are so crucial for you because they're gonna help open your body up. All right, let's do that next one. That 90 seconds is up. This is the end of round number two right here, back under the back. Let's cup that stick underneath the elbow pits, is what I call them and try to clasp the hands like so. Now it's good that we can see that he's struggling with this. So as we progress, try to bring the hands in if you can. Can you do me a favor? Do you mind pulling, the, 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 pulling it up for me? I just can't seem to get the roller up. Absolutely, absolutely. Up here? Yeah. There we go, thank there you. There we go. Keep them hands like that. A Little bit of bend in the knee. And then we'll just try to twist this. Just like that. And if you can just take your arms like this and you can feel it, you'll crack that lower back. You'll feel it in your traps. You'll feel it in your obliques. You wanna get that movement because you're heating the muscle up and burning the fat off. And that's gonna to help to sculpt all this muscle tissue right here. And it's all about repetition. It's like a rubber band. We stretch it out, we stretch it out. It heats up and it breaks, right? If you take, or metal, we could take metal and we could bend metal and bend it and bend it and bend it and bend it. What happens? It heats up and it snaps. So the more we do these, we're just heating it up and burning that fat off. Trying to keep everything down below nice and stationary. Of course, he's gonna be twisting a little more than I'd like him to, but this is his first time trying the exercise. So in the beginning, we have to get the body adapted to what we're doing. It's gonna learn the technique and eventually our form is gonna be better. That 90 seconds is up. Let's go for the last one. It's 11-11 right here in Southern Sunny California on March 20th. Make that wish, because 11-11 is a good number. And I wish that Amari gets the biggest transformation of his life to help him change his life in so many ways. He's gonna have an easier day at work. He's gonna have an easier time sitting in that car driving home. He's gonna feel great about himself. Even though it's only 15 minutes a day, it's an effect of 15 minutes. How you feeling over there? Feel good. 
You get that massage when you roll that down the neck right oh, there, yeah. don't you? Yes, sir, on the shoulders. Yeah. Is your hand doing okay? Your hand is doing great. Time is almost up. All right, let's get that next exercise going. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I can't remember what it is. It's the, um, oh, I know what it is. It's the. Under the armpit. Yep, we take it out. We're just trying to get it to where it's, the stick is, is right here. We're trying to stretch this out, get this hand a little bit tighter on here, stretch it out right there and bring it back. Yes, while all this stays forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look right down that camera. Think about the transformation you're gonna get. Keep that stick nice and tight in those hands and stretch it out. Pick up that pace a little bit for me. Bend those knees. Don't, don't mistake uh, quantity for quality. Give me good. Bring it in tight. Bring it in tight. Under that arm. Get it under that armpit. Under that armpit. Under that armpit. It's almost like you saw in the Karate Kid where he was like, wow. When you can just see all the work in the shoulders, all the work in the underarms, all in the oblique area, you just keep working. All oh, right down here, we're heating all this up, we're heating all this up underneath the arms. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna tighten up all that skin because as you heard him say already, just in the first two days, he's already five pounds lighter. Was that number three or do we have one more? We've got one more. Let's bring that last one ready for the last one underneath the elbows there. <clears throat> Let me help you out here. I got the stick. Right there. Maybe a little higher, a little higher. There we go. There we go. Now watch, and then, this is only week number one. I guarantee you in week number two, he's gonna be able to do that all by himself. All right, let's get this last exercise going. We gotta set that timer back. We lost a few seconds there. This here is the bib lifestyle with bib stick. Did you ever try any movements like this before? Not with a stick, but I did martial arts, so you I did feel do some, a lot of the same movements. Some, yeah. Yes. Like uh, this reminds me of like how to throw a proper punch. Yeah. You know. And can you feel how it? It makes it fun using the bib stick. Yeah, it keeps you aligned. It keeps you aligned. It, you, it helps you stay in form. You Which know? is very important. A yeah. lot of people. It's hard, this is hard for sure, but it's definitely reminds you, like when you're doing it, like I'm trying to keep my legs from, from twisting. It's Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a mind control. You have to have your mind connected to your body when you're exercising. It's almost like training wheels on a bike almost. Yep. We got just a few more seconds. <coughs> and there we go with the timer. Whew. That's it. 15 minutes, bib stick. How did it feel? Feel good. Excellent. Nice Excellent. and little limber. Nice and limber. All right, guys, stay tuned for some more episodes. We got the transformation with Amari, following the bib lifestyle with Bibstick. What do we tell him? Be, Be your, your best body. body.